Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel and today I'm going to be reviewing Big City Greens Season sorry, Big City Greens Season 2 Episode 12? Yeah, sorry. Season 2 Episode 12 and the first half is called Time Crisis and later today I'll be doing the second half called um um Grandma Driver. Yeah, and you're wondering, um, this, this, this blah, sorry, this was, was come, um, ne next week. Yeah, it was, but your know, plans changed, and I'm coming, you know, to my home, um, you know, my house, this is my dorm room, I actually have a, you know, you know, my, my, my house with my, with, with my family. Um, I'm going to back there early, you know, due to circumstances, and n nothing bad, just plans changed. So, you know, I kind of want to get episode 12 done today, so that when I'm home, and so you'll be seeing my room again, if you guys have been in this channel for like a long time, I, I used to do videos and, and reviews over there, so you'll be, you, you won't be seeing this white space um, for like a week or, or so, because spring break. So, um, that's why I want to get episode 12 done today, and I'll do The Owl House Season 2, episodes 7 and 8. I'll be doing that tomorrow, Sunday. So, you know, two reviews in one day. And, and episode 7 is called Ida's Requiem, and episode 8 is called Knock Knock Knocking on Hootie's Door. Yeah, and then just two more episodes of The Owl House Season 2A. So, we're almost there. I'm, I'm sorry it took such a long time. Amphibia also, but, you know. Other shows, other priorities. You know, you know that, that's, what, that's what you... This is what you get when you do five shows. So, you know. But, um... Yeah, so this is kind of my plan for, like, this weekend. Is to do episode 12 for Big City Greens Season 2 today and do the Owl House Season 2 Episodes 7 and 8 tomorrow and then because it's spring break I'm going to be uploading every day you know technically next week but in a couple days basically um, Monday through Sunday and that will basically be Big City Greens Season 2 Episodes 13, 14, 15, the Episode House and descriptions for episodes 16 to 30 and that's Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday and then I believe Friday and Saturday will be The Ghost in Malin McGee Season 1 episodes 13 and 14 I believe yeah 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 I believe it's you know gonna be, that will be 13 and 14 and then Sunday, what I'm hoping what I'll do, by some if by some chance it might be, you know, The Owl House Season 2, Episodes 9 and 10, but it might not be. What I might do is do Amphibia Season 2, Episodes um, 9 and 10. So get to the mid-season finale of that. And I, I wouldn't even be close to getting Amphibia done, but at least I'll say... We're finally done with season two A because there's only two episodes left left with that. Oh my goodness! But um, yeah. So that, but that's like a hoping because you know I just need to make sure I get the clips for to go to Mom McGee for that to happen for um Friday and Saturday of that week. So in order for that to work on Sunday, so if everything falls into place correctly, then everything should go according to plan. But plans change. I mean, I wasn't expecting to do this today. I was expecting to do the Owl House today, but again, things change, so. Anyway, so, I know this is kind of, it's not really, I guess you can call it a channel update if you want. It's like a mini channel update. I'm not going to call that in the title. It's still a review. I just thought I should you know, talk about, you know, what's going on and stuff like that. But, yep. Tomorrow you'll be seeing, like, a new, um, old, the old room, so. Pretty exciting. But without further ado, let's get to Remy over here with a a uh, shocked face with Cricket trying to get him out of trance. But um, first we get to um, th this is a Remy episode, hooray! And um, 
And basically we have, you know, Remy playing the violin and I absolutely love the violin, classical music, the way it just flows. Because I would not forget the day in Remy Rescue when Cricket was holding Remy's a violin upside down and playing it incorrectly. My very first thought and only thought was Cricket put the violin down. Learn to play correctly or do not play it because that sounds awful. Remy, how Remy plays it, beautiful. Yes, 100%. All the time, every day. Thank you. Just kind of like in, um, what was it called? The Dinner, I, I think it was called, or Dinner Party? Um, that, that was in uh, season one um, where the Remingtons and the Greens had to you know, try to get along and stuff like that. Um, and how Remy was playing the, the violin. Beautiful. Uh, I love it. Um, sorry, I'm just I'm a big fan of classical music, you know, along with jazz, classic rock, and stuff like that. But you know, um, so Remy's basically you know, playing the violin, you the the wind flowing with the uh, with the, um with the drapes and the flower petals, and then Remy goes a little off key, but he's like, oh, you know, I know um what, what, what do you say, Shavinsky. I'm not in violin lore, so I don't know if this guy's he's probably famous. And then um Vasquez is oh Master Remy, you have a visitor. And Chris Cricket's like, Remy, Remy, it's me. I I'm the visitor. Oh, you don't say Cricket. And then do you and Remy's like, Oh, don't worry, Vasquez, Cricket's fine, you know, even though I'm practicing is fine. And then Cricket's like, Yeah, Vasquez is fine. Because Remy and I are friends. <laughs> okay, and they're giggling. Okay, sweet. They're best friends. And then Vasquez Vasquez, hey, Master Cricket, I know you're Remy's best friend, but he needs to practice for his violin recital. And then Cricket's like, oh, Vasquez, he sounds great. I totally agree. But, and then, then you know, and Remy's like, oh, Cricket, I should go back to practicing. And, you know, practice makes perfect because when I was in the piano, I practiced it, like, every week, so I know how important it is. And, um, you know, I eventually stopped because middle school reasons, but anyway, <laughs> we're not talking about me. Um, but, um, and, Remy, and then, you know, and then Crick is like, oh, come on, but let's take, a, like, a burger break. Let, let's go to, um, Burger Clown. This baby boy needs a burgie. And if you guys don't remember Burger Clown, that was from season one also. And Gargoyle Gals? And also The Road Trip. Remember I did that review where they went to Burger Clown? So I wonder if we can see in season two. Like, see the actual, like, inside of the restaurant. Because we only saw, like, the outside of it when, spoilers for... Um, gargoyle gals where Benny's like I brought you an offering to like the burger clown mascot so I wonder if we get to see the inside in season two hmm maybe but um anyway and then you know, Cricket's like I want a burger and then Remy's like oh I have to get back to practice Cricket and then Cr Cricket's basically like like oh well come on let's take a burger break and you get some fries a burger or you don't you don't have to get the fries he's not a fry guy and then Remy's like Cricket it's very important that I get my recital perfectly. It defines my entire future. And then Crick is like, what does the recital now have to do deal with your future? And then Remy's like, Vasquez, bring the book. And then, psh, he jumps out the, jump through the window. <laughs> and then Crick is like, book, what are you talking about? And, psh, and Vasquez comes out of another window. And he brings the book of Remy. Uh, and he's like, this is everything you need to know about my life. And then we, we go through, he sees him had like a baby, and he's, oh, he's so cute. And, uh, you know, it didn't, this is him as, like, president, and this is him, like, you know, retired, and this is him going to college and stuff like that. So, it's basically his entire, you know, future planned. And then, you know, um, Cricket's like, whoa, your parents really went all out for you. And then Remy's like, um, I made this for myself. And then Cricket's like, oh, of course you did. Oh, okay. Um... And then and Cricket's like, are you really sure you can't come? And then Remy's like, yeah, sorry, Cricket, I just can't come. And I was like, oh, is this episode going to end quickly? What's going to happen? Or is Cricket going to, like, join Remy in this recital? Kind of like how Cricket joined, like, Remy in the football camp? But Cr Cricket doesn't know how to play the violin. So I was kind of something like, oh, it's probably going to end pretty quickly. But, okay. Um, I was kind of curious. Until, this is, this is my first complaint. Because Remy's like, Oh, see a cricket, and then poof, a bunch of, when he grabs like, the, the sheet of paper, 
uh, other papers came out. And he'd say, oh no, there's more? I didn't know there was more. I'm like, Remy, how long have you been staring at that sheet? For piano, at least for me, um, it's usually... Um, a couple weeks before we start. I could be wrong. It's been a long time. It's like a couple weeks. So, I don't know for the sake of violin. How long have you been staring at the sheet? you never seen multiple papers kind of, even if you're really scrunched up, you can kind of tell by dividers and stuff like that. And the, 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 the top part of the paper. How could you not notice? That's just, that, that's just irritates me. Like, you really didn't know? Like, and then you and Remy's like, I only memorized the first part. I didn't memorize the other parts. And he's like, my entire future. And then Craig is like, well, Remy, don't worry. And he, Remy just starts screaming. And then, and then Craig's like, oh my goodness, he's broken. Like, and then Vasquez being the bodyguard, he's like, Master Remy, what should I do? He's like, freak out with me. And then Vasquez is like, aye aye, sir. And he's like, ah. He's like punching everything. And Craig is like, oh no, everyone's broken. He's like, he gets like a security blanket, puts that on Remy. He's like, shush, like, you know, calm down, Remy, c c calm down. Like, oh, uh, uh, okay. Like, and he's like, okay, Remy, I know this might scare you, but let's think about this. What could be the worst thing that could happen? And Remy's like, the, the worst. And then he's, he kind of, you know, plays it, eh, sort of well. When he usually plays it, it's much better. I'm like, Okay, okay. Come back like next time. I'm gonna try again, but like okay, okay. Again, not bad. Just okay. And then you know, and then the the the, the um the um the teacher, the instructor guy. He's like, oh, that was really good. Really? Nope. And he poof, he just broke his violin. Oh my goodness. And then, you know, and then he's like, I said again, first chair. I'll get the worst chair. And I would say this is kind of too much, but because this is in this is in Remy's mind. And his imagination and his nightmare, it kind of makes sense. He's like, there's no way a uh, top, like, um, performance for you know violin um, players, you know, kids will have like a trash can for a chair. I don't think Mr. and Mrs. Remington will allow it, especially since they know how Remy feels after Remy rescue in season one, and how Russell knows how Remy feels about football and you know how. Remy just wanted his approval. There's no way they would allow him to sit through that and sit in the garbage can. So, again, if it was in real life, I was like, no, that's too much. But this is Remy's nightmare, so it makes sense. He's just just a kid. Um, and he's like, I'll get worse cherries in the trash can. And he's like, um, like you know, um, I I will I'll still be able to run for mayor. Was it, was it mayor or president? Yeah, I think it's mayor. A mayor, but I will. Yo, get lost in the polls. You see Benny? I guess Benny's running for president. Okay. Uh, mayor. Sorry. Mayor. And he's, you know, um, I, I won't be able to get to the big city college. I'll get to commute the clown college. Same with the other clowns. And he's like, I'll end up in a, um, the gutter. And he's like, oh, ranch. Oh, you're the only one for me. Oh, because I, I, I forgot, um, that Remy said, uh, what his future would be like. Basically, I go to Big City College with top marks. I'll get first chair in the violin recital. I will die a happy ranch life retired. I'll become a ranch salesman. I'll become mayor. And like, you know, I'll treat everyone with respect and, and stuff like that. So, so um, and he even said like the death day, but I forgot what it was. Sorry, I forgot about that segment. My bad, my bad. But um, and he like my entire future. And this is, this is the moment right here. Um, and then Crick is like, Remy, 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 snap out of it. And Crick is like, Remy, you are worrying too much about the future. Okay? And he's like, I never thought about it once. I had a place right here. So I don't want to play too much, but you know, Craig's like, I never thought about it once, and Remy's like, you never thought about the future? Well, I'm, I'm Remy as a kid, well, oh, okay, I'm technically so good, I, I, I'm 19, I'm close to being, a, whatever, I, I'm almost done being a teenager, 
but basically when I was around Remy's age, I always like planned like the future of what's like, ahead of me and stuff like that. And, you know, um, I was wondering like, oh, what's my future going to be like? Oh, well, you know, because all my siblings are great at everything that they do. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh my family. But, um, so I was like, well, what, 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 what college am I going to go to? what's my future going to be like? Where am I going to live? What's my job going to be? I'm basically Remy. And we both have glasses because when I was younger, I had glasses too. So I, ne I didn't wear, I didn't wear sweater vests. So that's the one difference and I don't have purple hair. But, um, uh, so, so yeah, I'm basically Remy and, and you know, um, also his Hispanic. Remy's not Hispanic. What am I even talking about now? But I'm so sorry. I just, I need to catch myself because sometimes I just ramble and ramble and ramble. But Remy's like, okay, if you've never thought about the future, I challenge you to do that. In Cricket Camper, if he's a challenge, um, picture yourself in 20 years from now. What do you think it's going to be like in the Cricket's future? A a <laughs> every generic kid's future. But Cricket's supposed to be that generic country kid, so you kind of expect that from him. Like, Remy, think about that, th about this. It'll be just weird. Oh, it would probably be amazing. <laughs> and, oh, you think he's going to have a futuristic house? Of course it's a farmhouse. Oh, my goodness. But it's Alice's farmhouse, so she wants to keep it like that. And, you know, she's like, oh, look, sad as sleep. So he has futuristic stuff. He's still in the hammock. Um, so he's like, I'll be all grown up. You know, hello, future big city. And he, oh, my goodness, look at the long legs. Oh, my goodness. And he's like, oh, you know, um, like, I stayed at home because I knew dad wouldn't be able to let me go. And he's like, he look a whole bit less. Oh, my goodness. And he's like, oh, hey, dad. Hey, future dad. Oh, hey, son. Like, you ever planning moving out? Oh, oops. Oh, sorry. Let me, um, forget about the swirling. He's like, you know, hey, dad, um, are you planning moving out? Never. But look at this. There's no toast. But when he grabs it, now there's toast. Where, where did I... I'm sorry, I, I know I'm trying not to nitpick on animation stuff too much. But this is only one thing, so I kind of have to... Yeah. But he, and Crick is like, never! And he's like, well, okay. And then, oh my goodness, look at Alice. She's a robot now. And he said, hey, Grandma, I like the new body. And she's like, oh, thanks, boy. I finally decided to cut the cord and download my conscience to the cloud. Excuse me. And then, um, and she, oh, best decision I ever made. Obviously, Keith is in there. How did he get in there? Did Al steal his robot body? Why did he go, go into a robot body? I don't know. But that's just, just that's just funny. He said, someone help me get out of cyberspace. Did someone trap him in there? I got an episode about this. It's kind of funny. And then, and then she's trying to knock him out off the, the screen, the, the, the feed. He's like, oh, it's a little buggy, but I'm trying to get a new patch soon to get rid of it. Yeah. And then you, and then Crick is like, oh, where's Phoenix? Here, girl. And he's like, oh, Phoenix, so he still has Phoenix. Oh, maybe it's like Phoenix kid or something. Oh, hey, Phoenix. Hey, Phoenix Jr. Hey, Phoenix Jr. Jr. <laughs> hey, two for one. And, like, and Craig's like, oh, buying that clone machine was the best decision I ever made. Oh, my goodness. Clone Tron 5000. Oh, my goodness. And, oh, yeah, um, incoming transmission. And I just had to play this right here. Really? Queen of the Otters. Oh, okay, sorry. I just don't want to play too much. But she's like, oh, oh, hey, Future Tilly. Oh, hey, Cricket. I'm just checking in. So, I guess she moved away. That makes sense because Tilly is the older sister, but Cricket is, I'm just going to stay home. Okay, okay. I mean, some kids do that, so, you know. Um, 
And she's like, oh, I'm living with the otters now, you know. Uh, they promoted me to be my queen. And she opened, like, a shell, uh, uh, like, like a clam or something. And she's like, oh, my royal servants and I bid you adieu. And Alice is like, I knew she'd go far. And Kirk is like, ha ha, like, classic fe feature Tilly. So I'm just going to leave right here. And look at Remy's, like, you know, kind of eye bags. He's like, cricket. And then he even says it right here. Cricket. That's not a real future. That's so generic. And he's like, like, what are you going to do for a job? And then cricket goes back to his fantasy. And he's like, oh, I guess I'll be still be working on Big Coffee. I was like, oh, okay. And then Remy's like, Gloria would be the boss now. And so cricket, I, I kind of, kind of like this perspective because he didn't say it. But cricket has a new respect for Gloria. But... He's definitely gotten used to her as a co-worker and kind of maybe like a mentor little sister. I mean, not a little sister. What am I talking about? Older sister. Kind of like that big sister type of role. Like, you know, with Tilly being his actual older sister. Now he has basically another one that is an actual adult. So, it's you know, kind of interesting. But Cricket doesn't like the fact that she'll be boss because, you know... We're co-workers, we're a team, and, and if you're my boss, that kind of changes things. He doesn't exactly express that, but I can tell by his face in the clip. You don't really see it right here. It, it kind of makes sense. He's like, oh, jeez, Gloria's the boss? So, he does not, like, oh, no. So, I'll get, into, I'll get a new job. And, oh, my goodness, the jobs. This is probably not in order, but he's like, I'll be a pyrotechnic salesman. I definitely don't sell illegal fireworks, wink. And everybody's like, what if that blows up in your face? I will be a, a sun devil. Is it? You could break your arm or something. And he's like, uh, um, he's, Craig is getting a little bit worried. Um, there was one more before, like a bank teller. I'll get that, that in a minute. Hold on. I'm sure there's one more. The sun devil, the, um, the teller, the, um, pyrotechnic salesman. Big coffee. There, there was another one, right? Am I wrong? Hold on. Hmm. I'm drawing a blank, so I'm, I apologize for that. But you say, oh, I'll be a bank teller. That's nice and safe. And then Remy's like, you're just telling me what I want to hear. A minute, you know nothing about being a banker. He said, oh, you're right. It's you're going to end up with me in the gutter. He said, he's wearing a suit. He's barefoot. And he has like a, like a little bit of a beard. And he said, oh, you're right. I never thought of it before. And Remy's like, yeah, Cricket, everything that you do now affects the future. Which is true, but you shouldn't worry too much about it. Especially when you're like 9 or 10 years old. I don't know how exactly, I, I do know, but it's going to be a spoiler in season 2. Of how old Remy is, so we know for definite fact that Cricket is ten and Tilly is eleven. So we know that, and Glory is around. Um, uh, Twenty-four, I, I think it was, but I'm not hundred percent sure, but um. And then, you know, and basically, and like, you know, and then, and then, you know, and Remy's like, everything you do now affects your future. And Craig's like, yes, uh, you're right, we're, we're all gonna die. And then, I kind of like this parallel, because when Re Cricket put Remy under the security blanket, Cricket is basically Remy's security blanket, so Cricket was calming Remy down. Now, Remy's basically worrying Cricket. Now, Remy's kind of, not necessarily being Cricket's security blanket, because Remy's kind of making things worse. But he's kind of groundy cricket, like, you're not really thinking about your future. But now your security blanket's gone, Remy, and, but Remy's no longer, like, freaking out and screaming and stuff. So, Remy found the courage, like, I'm basically gonna break cricket. But, I think I can handle myself. It, it feels like a little bit of that. I might be reading too much into it, but it feels like that. But, um... What happens next? Oh, and Vasquez is there too. Remember Vasquez? She's there too. He's like, 
yeah, without Master Remy, uh, what would I do? I had to go back to the Special Forces. I'm like, Special Forces? He's, he's like a, a soldier. Psh, like, uh, he didn't stop in a sec, but like, go to sleep. And he's like, oh, he has a little heart, golden heart locket. He opens it. It's like a little baby picture of Remy. Life wouldn't have had the same amount of spice. I thought Beast's father worked for the Remingtons. We've never seen him since that episode, Remy Rescue in season one. We never saw him again. But he basically, I, I thought he was born into this to protect Remy and the Remingtons. I guess not. I mean, when you are a special agent and you have the skills, you don't necessarily have to serve that same family. So it makes sense why he would come back. But we don't get a full explanation, but he's like, life wouldn't have the same spice. So they're all kind of freaking out. And all this time, Remy could have been practicing. He worried about the future and worried Cricket. And Crick Vasquez told a little bit about his story of, you know, I had to go back to the Special Forces if I'm no longer protecting Master Remy. We heard the, the clock. And Vasquez is like, Master Remy, it's time. And Remy's like, mm. he gulped. And then, you know, um... And, you know, um, he, Remy's basically is in the limo with um, Cricket. I'm glad Cricket stayed with Remy. He's a good best friend. He's, he's a good. He's not the perfect one, but he's a good one. And, you know, um, and Re Remy's basically, um, like, looking. He looks, he's like a guy with a dog. And they're both, like, violins. He's like, ah! And then Cricket's like, Remy, you okay, buddy? And he, Cricket's violin. And then Vasquez puts on the window of the, you know, the limo. And... Vasquez is a violin. He's like, don't worry, Master Remy. Um, we, we can pull you over, uh, like, you know, a pull over to, if you're feeling car sick. And then Remy basically has, a, I'm not sure if he falls asleep, but has, like, a vision. But this sequence, I actually loved it because of the violin music, the dramatic, with the, the colors. And he's like, Remy, Remy, not so ready. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Dun, 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 dun. What will they think of you? You know, and they're kind of blaming Remy. It's like, oh, you basically messed up. It's all your fault. You ruined your future. You know, you're horrible. How could you forget? Um, you're supposed to be number one in everything. Your know, golden championship. You basically ruined your life. But it's more like dramatic and uh, composed and very like you know big. Uh, I'm just kind of because I don't remember the lyrics all of it. And then you know, and then Remy's gets. gets swept into a swirl of notes and sheets and then a giant violin kind of like a judge is hanging um by remy's sweater with, with like the i don't know what's called the violin i don't want to call it a stick this sounds weird but he's like remy remington you have goofed up your entire life and then remy say i'm so sorry just messed up well now you get to mess up your entire life forever and he gets swept into a big cesspool of notes and sheets and remy's like huh huh and Craig's like remy remy you have to wake up we're here and the outside building looked nice and the inside is a big place i'm not sure if we're gonna see this place again but that'd be pretty cool if we do and we see the little girl she's playing beautifully and then you know, uh, Remy's in the backstage, she's about to go on, and Cricket and Vasquez are, like, in the front row. Cricket's telling Vasquez, if this is Remy's competition, he's doomed. And Vasquez doesn't say anything, but he, you know, he's right. And then, he's like, oh, Remy, Remy, it, what was it, um, thank you, was it Charlene? I, I forgot the girl's name. He's like, oh, thank you. And he's like, okay, Remy, Remington, you're up. He's like, huh. And he plays, like, the first part, and then, uh, oh, and also Cricket said, Vasquez, tell me what's over. And he's kind of stretching his ties in his necktie. He's like, yes, sir. And he's kind of choking him. And Cricket said, oh, the first part sounds pretty good. And then Remy's like, okay, a little bit more confident. But he's looking at the other pages. He's like, uh, he's kind of pausing, looking down the notes. And kind of not supposed to be doing that for too long. And everyone's kind of like, <clears throat> like <clears throat> you know, kind of like waiting. And Remy just, this is the most weirdest Oh my goodness, it's so horrible. He, he's doing like a little dance with like shaking his butt and playing the violin all weird and wrong. And then Craig's like, this is so bad. And Vasquez is like, yeah, it's so bad. And Remy just puts his violin down and just walks out. And then Craig's like, and he's gone. And then, you know, um, and you know, Craig and Vasquez is like, um, Matt, Remy, where are you? Where'd you go? Oh, Remy, there you are. And he's, like, drinking a ranch as, like, his coping mechanism. 
He's like, oh, ranch, take me away. Where'd you get the ranch bottle? But he was away, so he could have just gone from anywhere. And he, and then, you know, um, and then, uh, and then, you know, um, basically they're trying to come for Remy. And the, 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 the guy, um, the, um, the head guy at the recital, he's like, oh, Remy, you forgot your ribbon. He's like, did it make first chair? Remy. I, I just felt that was kind of dumb of Remy because you didn't finish your performance. You know you didn't study everything. You dropped your violin and you walked out. And again, in the middle of your performance, you drink your ranch on the sidewalk. So no, Remy, no. But, uh, but he's like, no, of course not. You you got third chair. Is like, oh, what does that mean? You got third place. You got third chair. You know, congratulations to you. I I'm not sure if he said to see you next week, but I don't know. Maybe. And then. You know, and then Crick and Vasquez are hoping for the worst. Oh, you didn't get first chair. Oh, no. Ooh. And then, you know, and Vasquez is like, we can get you a new family and a new life, Master Remy. You know, like that. Like, you you, you know, um, so, the you know, oh, come on. And Crick, Crick is like, yeah, come on, Remy, we'll get new names. And Crick is going to run away with him. I like Remy here. Remy grows, up, grows a little bit. He's like, guys, I don't think this is too bad. And they're like, what? I'm not the best. But not the worst either. Third place means that I'm pretty good. I just need to study more, work harder, and who knows? Maybe I might get first chair after all. And he said, "Hey, I was freaked out of the future before, but maybe not knowing your future can be pretty exciting." And Bass is like, "Ain't that the truth?" And, well, actually, you no, know, it's quick saying, "Oh yeah, I guess like the future is actually pretty exciting, not scary." And Bass is like, "Ain't that the truth?" And then you know, and you know, Bass, Remy's like. Who knows what will wait for us? And then they're all looking up at the sky, and you see Remy and Cricket <laughs> robot forms. Um, you know, like how Alice was. And I guess Cricket invaded Alice's body. And then Alice was like, Cricket, get your own body. He's like, no. And he does that in the episode. Um, I give this half in the episode. I did the first half. I give it a. Hmm. What was it? Um, Just trying to make sure I don't miss anything. Yep. Okay. I give it an 8.5. This was a B plus. This was a great episode. Just a couple of things. You know, the whole toast thing. The silicon bothers me. And Remy thinking he got first chair. Even though he ran away in the middle of his performance. And Remy not realizing he had more sheets. When you could have obviously realized that. Like, that's the first time you hold held the papers. When you got it. Like, you you, you know. Like, that does just kind of infuriate me. But again, you know, 8.5, you know, this was a B plus. I love the violins. I, I love Remy's, you know, trauma trying to get through it. Like, oh my goodness, and Remy growing as a person. Oh, Cricket kind of thinking about the future now. Cricket thinking is exciting. We get a little bit more about Vasquez and thinking he had to go back to the special forces without Remy, like, you know, without Master Remy to protect what was there for me. So he was in the special forces. Did he kill anyone? I don't, I don't know. Uh, 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 has he snuck into other places before? Who knows? He probably did. But again, everyone, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Hit the notification bell. Give me a big thumbs up. Leave a comment down below. Don't forget to share the video. And I'll see you guys later today for Big City Greens Season 2, Episode 12B, called... Um, grandma driver and i'll see you i'll see you then all right bye